up my britches? What's good? What's poppin'? How you guys holding up out there? I hope everybody is doing well out there and today's video is going to be my March favorites and fails. I'm gonna talk about my favorite skincare, makeup, household stuff. I have a couple misses for you guys as well. So I'm just gonna dive right in and we're going to start off with skincare. This first one is going to be a repeat product. I've talked about this so much on my channel but I cannot get enough of it and I cannot recommend this enough and I just find myself looking forward to using this every single day and every single night the Tatcha Dewy skin cream my skin is so fucking dry because the weather just can't make up its mind and it's really drying out my skin this and the next product are the only two things that are getting my skin through this whirlwind that we're experiencing weather wise because in upstate New York it was like 70 degrees out two days ago today it's like 30 it just keeps going like this and then because I work in like a forced air environment, my skin is just so dry. So this, and then in collaboration with the Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil, I was using the, what was it? The Rose Hip Seed Oil. I prefer that one for daytime, but I prefer this one for nighttime. It reminds me so much of the Drunk Elephant. What is it? The Luxury Marula luxury facial oil or something like that. It's the oil that Drunk Elephant does. That's the oil that I'm talking about. This reminds me so much of that and it just gives me a little bit more hydration. So I've been really, really liking this one. I don't know the exact differences because I'm not that bitch. I'm not like ingredient specialist or anything like that. I just use products and if they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. I just noticed that I do get more hydration from this one over the rosehip seed oil but I do prefer the rosehip seed oil during the day. I feel like this would be a little bit too much for me during the day, but nighttime, I fucking love this. I don't know if I'll actually ever purchase like the Drunk Elephant Facial Oil because I like this so much and it just reminds me so much of it. So highly recommend this brand. They're super affordable. They're available at Beautylish. Good Molecules is actually like an off brand from Beautylish and they're so inexpensive. I have another product from this brand as well. They do send me these things. So this I actually purchased myself, but this bar of soap, I don't even know the exact name of it, but they just launched it. It's like the clarifying bar soap or something like that. This is so bomb. I'll leave everything linked down below as well, but this bar of soap is so bomb for my back knee. I've been struggling with back knee. I can't even tell you for how long. And I get this cystic acne that hurts like a fucking bitch. It's ridiculous. So I've been using this. And then in last month's favorites video, I talked about like the, it's almost like an exfoliating bath towel. I've been using this in conjunction with that and my skin, it's not completely clear yet, but I notice every single time that I use this, it just gets clearer and clearer and clearer. And if I do get like pimples and stuff, they're not as like cystic and painful as they used to be. So I feel like this is really making a difference. And I mean, look at how much of this that I've used. I love this. I think it works so well. Again, it's super inexpensive. I think this is like $8. Some people might look at it be like, oh, it's just a bar of soap. But for me, I'm telling you, I've been struggling with my back knee for so long and this definitely has helped it. And then the last product I want to talk about for skincare is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. I have the Natural Mint and Shea Butter. This does have SPF 25 as well. This is the best lip balm I've ever used. I've said that about products before, but this one definitely takes the cake for me because it lasts on my lips. It lasts so long and it's just so hydrating. It almost feels like it's it's like too much when you first apply it. This will last me several hours and I'll still feel the hydration. It still feels like I freshly applied it. This just works so well. If you wanna know more about like ingredients and stuff like that, Jen Loves Reviews did an awesome video on like why your lip balms suck or something like that. She did a full blown review on so many different ones and I know that she talked about this one as well. I love this. I think it's so bomb. I get this online at Sephora. I'm going to leave everything linked down below. I think I already said that, but in the case that you're looking for something, I'll leave it down below so you can find it. I've tried finding this in stores and my stores don't carry it anymore, but highly recommend it. I love it. Who doesn't love or need a good ass lip balm? So I think this one's like $8 to me. That's a little bit more expensive than like drugstore, but this works so much better than drugstore. So I highly recommend this one. Okay. Skincare is done. Makeup time. First thing up is going to be the primer that's on my face today. This is the Tatcha liquid silk canvas. I think I talked about this in last month's favorites video. This is the only primer that I've reached for every single time that I've done my makeup. This is so fucking bomb. It makes my skin look so nice. Like, come on. I know it looks bomb. And there's just something about Tatcha products. I'm telling you, I've said this so many times. I put this on my skin and it's just like an experience. It feels so nice on my skin. 
in the scent of Tatcha products. Chef's kiss. I love it so much. I can't get enough of these Tatcha products and I know that I continuously rave about them, but I feel like that's what's important when it comes to recommending products because there's some products that I initially try and I love them and then I just kind of like phase them out or I just stop reaching for them. It reminds me a lot of the original Silk Canvas, but to me this is so much better because it doesn't pill up when you like rub it into your skin. It doesn't leave the cast on your skin and it's so much more hydrating on my skin. And it just, it still gives me that like a slight face tune effect, like a slight smoothing effect. I don't think it's as smoothing as the original, but it's so close. Like it's, it's minute, the differences between these two. So I cannot say enough good things about this. I will absolutely be getting a full size of this because I just love it so much. I haven't touched any other primer, so I wanted to do a follow-up because I was just kind of starting to use it in my last favorites video, so I was like kind of cheating about it. But I just, I wanted to again follow up with you guys to let you guys know I still only reach for this one. I fucking love it, and I do really highly recommend it. I do hope that Tatcha starts to do mini sizes of these just because it is a very expensive primer. But if you go into Sephora and you see it in store, get a sample of it and at least try it because chef's kiss. So good. All right, next thing is going to be my favorite foundation of all time. I know. Bold statement, but I'm telling you, Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation is the fucking best foundation ever. I love this foundation so much. It has SPF 20. It's the most perfect foundation if you like a very skin-like effect with your foundations. I am very much into like light to medium foundations. I like that natural skin finish and I have textured skin, so I want something that's going to be more flattering. This gives me all of that. And I wanted to mention this one because I used to be the shade, what was it, MN4 and MN3. I am now currently the shade LN3 and I just picked up this one. It's what's on my skin right now. It is the perfect match for me. That's why I wanted to mention this one because I'm still so in love with this foundation. I remember I did like an initial review on this foundation. It's still my favorite foundation in my entire collection. Highly recommend. I would easily pay $60 for this foundation because it's so fucking bomb. I love it so much. And it's just, look at my skin. That's all you need to know. Next products are going to be from Charlotte Tilbury. And I cannot get enough of these. I think these are so good. These are the Beauty Light Wands. I have the shade Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk Number no. 2 Medium. These were the two newest shades that Charlotte Tilbury had launched. Do not sleep on these Beauty Light Wands, okay? If you're looking for something that's ultra flattering on textured skin, if you just want a very natural like skin-like finish blush highlighter, I'm telling you, I did a full-blown video on these and I cannot stop reaching for these because they're so fucking gorgina gorgina you guys i'm telling you these are so good they just they blend out i'm gonna do it just with my finger they blend out so easily and they just give the most glorious looking sheen if you didn't watch my original video on these i do close-ups of everything <sighs> I cannot get enough of these, especially the blush shade. This is just my perfect cream blush. And then the highlighter, it's just, they're stunning. Absolutely stunning. Charlotte, good job, darling. I said that in my initial video. So bomb. I highly recommend those. All of the Beauty Light wands, I highly recommend. Every single one that I get, I absolutely love them. I have the contour wand. I have those ones. I have the pink gasm wand. They're all fucking fire. All right, next thing up is going to be a lash glue. This is the Duo 2-in-1 Brush-On Strip Lash Adhesive. This is the only lash glue that I reach for now. I need to buy like three more. So I have one in my purse, upstairs, downstairs, because I struggle with my lashes, okay? I can never get like the inner corner to just add here to my lash line. I just love the fact that this has a black and a clear glue in one. It's just like the best thing ever. I know I've talked about this before. I think I've mentioned this in previous favorites videos before, but I just, I love this. I get it at Ulta. I think it's like $7. So it's affordable. At least to me, it's affordable. This is just such a good lash glue. And I noticed that my lashes, they just don't budge all day aside from like my inner corner if I don't put them on correctly in the morning. So I highly recommend this one. There's not much else to say other than it's a bomb ass lash glue. So it's a bomb ass lash glue. <laughs> 
Next thing up is going to be a mascara. I have not touched any of my other mascaras in probably two months because I just, I can't get enough of this Thrive Cosmetics mascara. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions mascara. I just, I love the tubing effect that this gives. If you've never used a tubing mascara, you need to try one. I think Essence has one for like $4, which I need to try that one, but I can never remember which one is the tubing one. I don't know. But this mascara, it's so good. I don't necessarily love the applicator on it. Like I don't really love plastic applicators, but I love the formula of this because it does not budge. It does not flake. It does not move at all. It's like the best mascara ever and it will hold a curl as well. And then at the end of the day, you put your warm water on your face and it just comes right off. It's like so satisfying because you could just kind of like pull on your lashes and it'll just, the tubes will just come right off. It's such a cool formula, but I just, I love this so much. You can get this at Ulta as well now. It's just such a good mascara. I know a lot of people have the issue with like flakiness. I need to get my mom to try this because I think she would love this, but I'm telling you, it's super black. It's just the best mascara. I fucking love it. I cannot stop reaching for it. If I do a mascara declutter, which that should be coming soon, that will probably be the only one that stays in my collection because... That's the only one I need, clearly. Moving on, I'll talk about some eyeshadow palettes. I'm not gonna talk too much about these just because I did like a ranking my newest eyeshadow palettes video, but the Makeup Geek Matrix palettes, these are my favorite palettes in my collection right now. I do find myself reaching more for this neutral palette just because, I don't know, this is just like where I live for when it comes to my eyeshadows. I did wanna update you guys because I was using the shade Clean Slate for my brows but I am using the shade Bedrock. That's what's on my brows right now. I just find so much use out of these palettes, but if I were to pick between the two, I do gravitate towards this one more. But my favorite thing about Makeup Geek is the foiled shadows, which is going to be this top row right here on this palette. So if I were just like an average consumer, I didn't do makeup videos or anything like that, I would highly recommend build your own custom eyeshadow palette with the nine pans. I talked about in that rankings video, like if I were to build my own palette, which shades would I choose? If you wanna hear more about my thoughts about these, go check out that video. But I just wanted to throw these in here because I'm still loving these so much. I have a hard time not grabbing them. And that's what tells me that they're my favorites. If I continuously reach for something and I don't even think about it, that's a favorite. That's what I go by. And these are definitely my favorites in my collection. I fucking love these palettes. Okay, this next thing, I've actually done a video on this as well. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but I need to keep giving this the hype that it deserves. The Ofra Cosmetics and Samantha March collection. I was sent this in PR. So again, thank you, Samantha and Ofra Cosmetics. I just think that this was done so well. I think everything in here is absolutely stunning. This is just... <sighs> It, it's like it was made for me. It has a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter, liquid lipstick, a gloss. Like these are a few of my favorite things. I've been having such a hard time not reaching for this. All of these are on my face right now, aside from the liquid lipstick and lip gloss. I'm not going to swatch anything today because I did all that. I showed a demo in that previous video. This is just such a beautiful collection. I'll show you what each looks like. So this is going to be the Start Inspired Highlighter named after Samantha's podcast. This is going to be the original formula. Like the formula is not different. It was just renamed, but this is the original. But I do have a giveaway on my highlighter declutter video for the new Start Inspired highlighter. So if you want to check that out, um, then there's the Chiclet Blush. This is my favorite thing in this collection. I think this is so beautiful. I love mixing these two together because it just gives the most perfect blush. Again, this is on my face right now. So stunning. I love the split pans because it just... It gives you a bit some options and I love that. And then this is going to be the River Bronzer. I personally only really reach for the matte side right now, but I feel like in the summertime, that's when I'll get into mixing them. But going with these, I do want to talk about the Smashbox. What is this? The Buildable Cheek Brush. I've been reaching for this a lot with these specifically because it just fits so perfectly on each side. I can mix it all together and it just fits so nicely. It's what I use today. Again, this is on my face as well, but I just, I love this entire collection. I've been wearing the shit out of this liquid lipstick. Over Cosmetics just has one of my favorite liquid lipstick formula. That's going to be Samantha Shade's Story. And then I'll also give you a quick swatch of the Millie Lip Gloss. 
I don't think the lip gloss is my personal favorite. I think that's probably my least favorite in the collection, but it does look so beautiful on the lips. It's just when I reach for a gloss, I want to have that like juicy wet type of look. Whereas this is going to give you more of like the sparkly, not so like wet looking type of look. You know what I mean? So it's still really beautiful. But if I were to pick like a least favorite, I would say the gloss is probably my least favorite. But my favorite in the collection is definitely going to be the chiclet blush. I just think it's so beautiful. So again, I wanted to just give some love to Samantha because I think this is such a beautiful collab. I just, I really love it so much and I'm just having a hard time not reaching for it. So congratulations to her. I really, really love this. So I wanted to mention that once again on my channel. All right, a couple more brushes. Let's talk about the LMR Cosmetics. This is the brightening brush. This comes in a group of three. I don't even know if these are available on the LMR Cosmetics website. Like their site kind of fucks me up because if there's stuff that's not in stock, it just disappears from the site. So you're like, wait, is it like, is it gone? Is it just sold out? Like, what's the deal? I don't think I've seen these brushes on their website. I got mine in BoxyCharm, but this brightening brush, I've been finding myself reaching for this a lot. I like this for just my under eye if I want like a brightening powder. I still prefer my like beauty blender sponge to set my under eye, but if my under eye is just really not looking the way that I want it to, if I want it a little bit brighter, I'll take this brush and just kind of dab a little bit more of like a banana powder or something on top. But these two brushes here, we have the bronzer brush and the complexion brush. I feel like these were named like reverse. Like when I look at this, I picture this being a complexion brush versus this one. I would see this as being like a bronzer or blush brush, you know? So I did use these. I just feel like this one specifically, like I would not use this for a bronzer. I use this for foundation. I was like, I feel like they're just like the bristles are too long almost and they're too flimsy for what I used it for. And then this brush here, it wasn't a bad brush, but it just, it wasn't my favorite. These are very soft, but again, I was just like, wait, can you even buy these? I don't know what the dealio is with them, but the brightening brush was definitely my favorite of the three. And again, just for my under eyes, I thought it was really nice. The next brush though, I might throw hands over this brush, okay? The Sephora Pro Diffuser number 64. This is the original. Sephora just redid their brush line and I see that they have another Sephora 64 brush. I just read a review on it yesterday that it's not the same. So I wanted to mention this because I've mentioned this brush so much on my channel and in the case that it's not the same, I don't want people to like run out and buy it, you know, based off of my recommendation and it not be the same, you know, because I don't think that this brush is available anymore. So I did want to mention that like if you go on there and you see that the brush does not look like this, it may not be the same. So Sephora, I don't know what the fuck you're doing to us, but why would you get rid of this brush? <sighs> if you guys want a video on me comparing the two, let me know. But I just wanted to mention that because I was like, Sephora! Come on, Sephora! So I still really do love this brush. It's my favorite. It's like my go-to, but I hope Sephora didn't let us down with that one. All right, I think that was it for my favorite makeup products. I'm looking around to make sure I didn't forget anything because I forget something in every favorites video. I'm going to quickly talk about two fails for me and then I'll get into some household items. So the first one is going to be from Shea Moisture. This is the Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler with Slippery Elm and Marshmallow Extracts. Whew. Now, Jessica Braun recommended this in several of her videos. So I was like, okay, I need a detangler. Let me try this one. I've come to the realization her and I have very different preferences when it comes to pretty much like all makeup products, it seems like. So when I got this, I was really excited to use it because I use a detangler every single day because I have very, very natty hair. And I have a seven-year-old stepdaughter who has extremely knotty hair. So when I use this, like I like to have the feeling like you could feel it in your hair, you know, like you could feel that you applied something. Whereas with this, you can't feel it at all. So it's like, I feel like I overspray my hair, but then like it still works. I don't want to say that it doesn't work. It's just, I don't feel like I did anything to my hair. You know what I mean? So this one overall, like it works. It's just not my personal favorite. I actually am eyeing the Drunk Elephant Detangler because I didn't realize they were coming out with like detanglers, lotions. I thought they were doing just like shampoo and conditioner, which I just ordered the conditioner yesterday. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you guys, I don't really love this, but it's a good like 
if you need a quick something at the drugstore, you know, or if you're at Walmart or something like that, because that's where I got mine was, I think, Walmart. But for me, this just was not what I expected it to be. Next thing is going to be the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bloodless Palette. So I did a video, I think I did a couple videos on this palette and I'm just overall, for the price of it, I'm not impressed with it. And for the price that I paid for it, I'm like, no, if I'm not gonna use it, if I'm not gonna reach for it, I'm gonna return it because it doesn't perform as I expected it to be. The packaging is gorgeous, it's absolutely beautiful. It's just the color story I'm not a typical fan of. And it's just, again, it's not what I expected it to be. And then the packaging, it's just, it's very flimsy and it's like, it's so top heavy. So it's not like you can adjust the mirror and keep it there. So it's, I don't know, overall, I'm just like, I don't feel like this is worth what I paid for it. So I am going to be returning it. So this was overall a fail. And this was another one that I mentioned in my, like ranking my newest eyeshadow palettes video. So that one is going to be a fail. And I think that's all the fails that I had for this month. Let's move on to some household items and some snacks. I'm going to start with my snacks because <sighs> these are these skinny dipped almonds in the lemon bliss flavor. Oh my god. These are so bomb. These taste like, you know, like the, um, the thin Oreos, the lemon ones. Oh my god. They got like yogurt on the outside. Oh my god. Mm, I've loved every single flavor that I've gotten. My favorite thing about these like skinny dipped almonds though is whenever you hear like chocolate covered almonds, you think like a really thick layer of chocolate. These have like the thinnest layer. These ones in particular are going to have yogurt, but they have like the thinnest layer over the almond. Just be careful because I've actually chipped a tooth because of almonds before, but these I absolutely love. I'm a big fan of the raspberry ones as well, but I have a hard time finding these in store. Like I had to go like a half hour away to get these. I got these at Target, but you can get them on Amazon. You can get them online. I just, I'm a really big fan of these skinny dipped almonds. They're like a nice like treat, but a healthier sort of snack, you know? I just, I really love those. So those are going to be a favorite. And then these organic Ocho coconut minis. They're dark chocolate filled with coconut. I got these at Target as well. This is what the bag looks like if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. These I love because they're individually wrapped. The reason that I love this is because I'm less likely to binge an entire bag of these because they're individually wrapped, like portion size, you know? That's what I really love about these because I'm not giving up good shit, okay? I'm not giving up candy, but it's like, I like just things like this that are a healthier option that still tastes really good. I just love these. I'm probably gonna eat this as soon as I'm done filming, but I just, I love these. They remind me a lot of like mounds. So I highly recommend these. I've been loving them and I still really love those, what was it, the Smart Sweets. Oh my God, those are so bomb. Next thing is going to be a household item. And I got this because nature called, okay? I have no shame in my game. I had to go to the bathroom so fucking bad and I was at Ulta and I'm like, I don't wanna stink up a bathroom. So I got some poopery. <laughs> This stuff works so well. Like if you have to go to the bathroom in public, have some poopery in your purse, spray it in the toilet before you go and you're welcome. All right, last thing up. I hope you're paying attention. I hope you guys are still here because we're about to have a giveaway, baby. So last month I talked about these Lotus trolley bags. I use these every single time I go to any store. They just sit right on top of my cart. They stretch across the cart and I stack all my groceries in. They're just reusable shopping bags that just rest right on your cart so it keeps all of your stuff upright. I'm gonna have like probably a demo of me using it just so you have an idea of what it looks like. Every single time I go to the store, somebody's either asking me about them or wondering where I got them, so on and so forth. So the company actually ended up seeing, I think it was like my Instagram post, cause I even posted those on Instagram. Like that's how much I love these damn things. So they ended up sending me a message offering to send me their produce bags. So they sent me three of their small bags, three of their medium sized bags, and then three of their large bags. These all come in like a group of, you get three of each, and then they all come in a box all together. So it's like a little like produce bag gift set, if you will. I actually ended up buying a set of these for my mom for Christmas because I ended up buying hers first. Like I bought the trolley bags and these first, and then their company sold out. So I ended up getting other brands as well for like 
the other ladies in my life, you know? And I felt that these were the highest quality of all the ones that I had gotten. So when they offered to send me these, I was just like, hell yeah, yes, bitch. Like, I'll definitely take those because I just, I knew that I loved the brand already. And one thing that I actually ended up doing the most recent time that I went to the store was I find myself reaching for this size, the medium, the most. Whenever I purchase makeup, I always do it in like a separate transaction. So I buy like all my groceries first. Like for example, if I'm at Walmart, sometimes I buy makeup there. So I ended up buying all of my groceries first. And then in a separate transaction, I bought all my makeup and I ended up just putting it in one of these bags, tied it up. And then I just kind of brought it downstairs to my room. It just made everything more organized for me but I always buy produce and it's just it's just a nice option it's less plastic it's just my way of contributing to saving the planet you know the only downfall I would say about these though is with our store we have like the wear or you type in the number and it prints out a sticker the sticker doesn't actually stick to the mesh material so I just kind of like put all the stickers on my cart and then I just throw the stickers away but then I was talking to either like one of the owners or the reps on Instagram and she's like Oh, pro tip, you could use these as garment bags. Like you could wash your like bras, underwear, throw this in the washing machine. I was just like, <sighs> mind blown. It was so cool. So I'm really loving both of these. And the company was also so nice to offer me a discount code. If you guys wanted to purchase these, I do highly recommend them. If you use the code britches15, I don't think it's an affiliate code. I think it's just like a discount code for you guys. If you use the code britches15, you get 15% off your order on their website. And then they wanted to team up with me to do a giveaway for a set of the produce bags and the trolley bags. So in order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment down below of your favorite product for the month of March or your least favorite product for the month of March and also the best way to contact you. If you want the option for additional entries, you don't have to do this. This is totally up to you. You could follow us both on Instagram and I do have a picture on my Instagram. like. That's how you know I fucking love these things. I posted them on my Instagram. I'll leave the picture on the screen right now so you know which post to go on. Tag three friends on that post if you guys wanna do that, but ultimately the only thing that you have to do to enter is leave a comment down below of your favorite product for the month of March or your least favorite and the best way to contact you, whether it's Instagram, email, so on and so forth. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you guys leave. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Peace.